Hi guys. <sighs> well, I didn't go to Mum's today because, well, one stepdad's in a very different not a pleasant atmosphere, so. He'd be alright with me, you know, he went. What is up with this fucking phone tonight? Um, you know, he's never been arsy towards me, but. Still, you know. Uh, I don't like that sort of uncomfortable atmosphere anyway, so. Um. So I just sort of stayed at home and vegetated here in front of the PC sat in front of my fan, so if you can hear a bit of wind noise, it'll be that. Um, that reminds me, I've got a couple of questions to answer in a minute. But, uh, this is like the fourth attempt at making this video, because I keep getting disturbed tonight. Uh, the red mountain bike I picked up yesterday is downstairs locked in the shed, and the restoration project is locked the trailer out front. I'm running out of space, and I think I'm going to crack one day and just sell a bunch of bikes again. I did it before, but so pissed off not having the room, I just sold a bunch of bikes. Regretted it afterwards. Well, actually, I don't anymore. <laughs> um, anyway. I probably won't see Mum until she says about 5.30 tomorrow, because... She's been promoted to um, senior carer, but before that can be made official, she's got a bit of training on what not to do, so she's got to do that after work tomorrow. Um, she's taken some of the other girls across to Chroma for the training as well, so I'm bringing them back and dropping them off, so it won't be until about 5 30, she's got to go a little anyway. Um, that actually gives me most of the afternoon. I'm sorry, Neil, I'm going to have to kick you off in a minute because I'm going to have to stand up to um, do a few things around here. I've got to put a front brake back on that little silver bike because I stole it and uh, stuck it on the front of this just so I had a nice matching pair. I don't have a matching pair, and I only need a front brake on that little silver bike, so I figured I might as well put the pair on here and put the um, an odd set on the um, silver one today, or two pairs, I should say, on here, not a pair. Uh, da, 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 da. What else? Oh, well, I bought those wheels for no reason, but for... How much you know about 75p? No. I don't know what £2 divided by 3 would be, but, you know, I'll pay £2 for three wheels. Well, I don't actually have any 24-inch in my collection, so I suppose a couple like that would be, uh... It'd be ideal to keep hold of a couple, I suppose. There's good tyres and whatnot on them. And you've probably already noticed that before I get to it. Well, uh, that was a freebie. Yep, free. Apart from the records, they were mine. And uh, I had those out because I was testing it, and it does work. It's a Ferguson 3047, and from research online, it could be a 1975 or a 1977, somewhere between those years. Ferguson with a little red pallet indicator lamp, power button, balance, volume, plug, it's got a tape symbol, so I presume you can plug a cassette radio into here, two speaker sockets on the back, there's no speakers with this, so how do I know it works, because there's a headphone jack on the side here. But yeah, it does work, does play. I had to give this a bit of a kickstart, so to speak, to get it to um, spin. But it could be because it hasn't been used for a while, it may just need a grease on the inside, so... Uh, so I'm going to have to turn this upside down, I think, and uh, just have a peek on the inside at some point. But it does work, it does play. I actually played some... I've got very good sound out of my headphones on this. So I need to find... a 
pair of speakers. Is that you? I think that was a cat. That's not some weird sort of. Yeah, the cat's got one on. <laughs> yeah, I've got some old speakers, but I don't have the I take two pin plugs. I don't have any speakers with those on. I thought I did, but I haven't. Uh, and the speakers I got are black, so they wouldn't really go with us. I need some any sort of brown wood effect ones. I'm not really fussed so long as they'd uh, roughly be from this era and have the same on the uh, same or the correct plugs, I should say. This is also <laughs> this has also got. A, it's been electrically tested back in 1993, 2nd of November to be precise, 1993. <laughs> um, almost 10 years after I was born. Um, it was tested literally four, five, six days later. And second, seven days later. So it's literally, it was tested a week before I was born. So almost 23 years old. It'll be 23 in November. Or 23 years ago it was tested, I should say, not 23 years old. It's a lot older than that. <coughs> need a good clean. Obviously, they're a bit crackly, so I need to get some contact cleaner and spray in there. And a bit of WD-40 will help. That won't be a perfect cure. I've tried WD-40 before. And that does help on these, but it's not perfect. So I think I'll try and get hold of some proper contact cleaner for this. Get some speakers, and... The only place I can actually find to set it up is in the bedroom. I'll have to set it up in there somewhere. Move my uh, television round as I wanted to do. What I was pla yeah, what I was planning to do is put that there. Hmm. Yeah, I think I may need to do a bit of a jiggling around. If I could find somewhere else to put those drawers. That would be a bonus, but uh, I don't know where to put them. Um, if I moved those, when I built the shelving in there, I could have put extra shelving underneath to put the consoles on and put the TV on top. Then I would have had, you know, the console corner there, and that would have leave, left me the space there for, uh, for my record player. Or even here, because I could slide those along. Uh, I would actually like to do that. I get all that bit built and put some sh a couple of shelves in underneath. What would I need? I would need at least three shelves for now. Uh, hmm. Also got crud. Sitting under here as well, I could probably get rid of it. Um, yeah, I think a bit of a jiggling around and we'll be fine. Maybe I could move that shelf and put that above the TV and put one of the consoles on there. Or perhaps two of the consoles, because I think the master system in that Mega Drive would go up there. Or I find, or I cut this down into two shelves. Cut it in half so I can make two shelves. Yeah. Or I'll put the TV over here when I get this bench in there. Take that shelf down, put a longer one up. I can move those all the way down 
or even have them flush up against that wall, actually. That would give me a bit of room. And maybe the consoles can fit on there. I'll work something out. Somehow I will, so long as I can make some enough room up here, just to sit the record deck on, which means I'm going to have to really sort out the power supplies down here. I could do something like an eight-way, a couple of eight-ways or a ten-way, a couple of ten-ways then. Actually, a couple of ten-way towers would be useful. There's no way it'll get overloaded, because there's just no way everything on there is going to be turned on at exactly the same time. If I did that, then I'm going to just start a bloody fire. <laughs> so I don't need to do that anyway. I can only play one console at a time, so I'll only be one console and the TV running at a time. So that power outlet for those is fine. What I actually need to do is probably get under there and add at least another double socket. Uh, it's going to be a bit awkward because I've got to work under there, but it's possible. Bob. Um, so I may need that some extra shelving. I don't know if the consoles would be would go on there though, because I would need quite a wide shelf because I've got cables coming out of the back. Uh, <laughs> I could find a wider plank of wood to use as a shelf than I could, and uh, you know I could have one shelf running along there with all three consoles on it. And that would give me a bit of extra room, but like I said, especially that Mega Drive, that's quite deep. Uh, ideally I'd need a shelf like that, but I've got no more of that wood left. Yeah, so I'm going to have to keep my eyes open for another piece of wood a, a few inches wider than this. That's all I need. Uh, yeah. I'll just straight above the TV then. And butt up against the edge of these, because I'll turn them around to butt up against the wall. And then, like I said, if I have to trim this down, then I'll trim it down. But I'm hoping it will go in there and I can replace that shelf. So, yeah, my corner, as I said, it was, it's, as I said, ages ago when I first did this, it's a work in progress. I only did this bit. And really, I could do us some more shelves on there, but I just haven't got, well, I've got rid of the freaking boards I could have used. Never mind, I'll find something I can use. There was actually plenty over there, but I've got rid of it all now. I found the frames, the metal frames, but not the wood. I don't know what they did with the wood. Otherwise I'd have received it, because it was a few bits a bit smaller than that. Oh well. I'll have a look around there and see if I can find them, because I may have put them somewhere else. But if not, no doubt something else will turn up. Hmm. That can go into there. Oh, those were the speakers I was talking about, but they're a bit, a little bit newer, ever so slightly, than that record deck. They'd work, but ideally I'd want something that sort of, you know, physical size, box size, with the correct plug on. I'm not going to want anything super duper powerful. And on the odd, very odd occasion, I have seen them in charity shops. Um, because they're not mains electrical, I think they can get away without them needing to be tested. 
You don't have to get anything tested that runs on batteries, I know that. If it runs on batteries, it's fine. It's just stuff that plugs into the mains you've got to have tested. Uh, another option I've got is to ask Biggles if he can pinch me a couple from down the tip, but I don't really want to do that. I mean, cosmetically, this is in bloody good condition. Dusty, but in good condition. Ooh, these batteries didn't last very long. It's really going down. Right, I'm going to pour myself another drink. Taking my pill, haven't I? Yeah. That's good. Uh, that's it. It's coming up to 20 to midnight. 20 to midnight. Or 11.40, if you prefer to say it that way. I'm just still trying to sort of plan out tomorrow. I didn't actually have a plan for what I wanted to do, and I've completely forgotten now. It'll come back to me. Might just have a wander around town, see if I can find anything. Get some rough prices on things. Black Records may even have a set of speakers kicking around somewhere. That he'll sell me. I can, but ask. I'm not in desperate need for them right now, but if I can get them for a decent price, then I'll get them. I, I don't know how much he'd charge. I'll even have a look on Gumtree. There may be some on Gumtree. I'll have a look everywhere. Turn this light off now. Uh, yeah. When I got all that car boot stuff, Last year, I didn't save some records from myself. I actually don't know why. For some reason, I just figured I would eventually get myself a record player. Actually, I wanted, you know, one of them hi-fi systems that you could get in the 80s and the 90s. The black stereo system with a the record deck on the top. That's what I actually wanted. And I still want one, because I'd replace the stereo down there with it. But, uh... I actually found this. So, not exactly what I was after, but it will do. And I'm not complaining. <laughs> Unit audio. Quite a clunky power switch, I like that. You don't get nothing built like that anymore. It's all that sort of... It's all sort of digitally done, isn't it? Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll get this video up on YouTube. Yeah. I'll get this cleaned up and I'll get some speakers for it and I'll do a better video on it using my VHS camera. I think it's deserving of some better video quality before I do a video on it. And I can't do that with this little shitty camera, so. Anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you again at some point tomorrow. But as I said, I'm not sure what I'm doing tomorrow. Anyway.